the Saab 340 is the Swedish twin-engine turboprop aircraft, designed and originally manufactured by a Saab AB Fiatra aircraft partnership. Under the initial arrangement, Saab built the all aluminum fuselage and vertical stabilizer together with the aircraft's family assembly in Linköping, Sweden, where Fairchild was responsible for the wings, empennage, and wing mounted nacelles for the two turboprop engines. The production of these components was transferred to Sweden after Fairchild stopped this work. The SAP 340 conducted its maiden flight on January 25, 1983. An Elaus airliner derivative, known as the SAP 2000, was introduced in the early 1990s. Sales of the TAP, however, declined due to intense competition on the regional market for aircraft. SAP decided to end the SAP 340 production in 1998. Swedish aircraft manufacturer Saab AB became more and more interested in the market for civil aircraft during the 1970s. In 1974, the company decided to continue to develop its first major civilian aircraft, having previously focused on military aircraft almost entirely. During the late 1970s, internal studies had determined that a short-haul airliner should be optimized to seat around 30 passengers. It was also decided to use turboprop propulsion, which was slower but more economical than turbofan engines, and to optimize the airliner in order to take advantage of this type of power plant. The selection of a turboprop engine according to author Gunnar Eliasson, made the TAP less attractive to allies than to jet power competitors, but admitted that the General Electric CT 752A engine picked was quite competitive with the jet engines of that era. As planned, within its short haul role, the airliner was to match the performance of jets. The regional airliner venture had become Sweden's largest industrial venture by the end of the 1970s and was recognized as too big for SAP to conduct alone. As a result, it was announced in January 1980 that SAP had entered into a partnership agreement with US manufacturer Fairchild Aircraft to develop and manufacture the upcoming regional airliner. Under this partnership, Fiatchar was responsible for manufacturing sections such as the wings, tail units, and engine nacelles, while SAP was responsible for 75% of development, system integration, and certification costs. The 3-4T share several manufacturing and design techniques used in SAP military aircraft such as the Mantaro Combat Aircraft, Saab Just 39 Gripen, which was then in developed. One short technique was to eliminate the use of rivets on aluminum structures to reduce weight, instead using the fusion bonding. The first 340 made its maiden fly on January 25, 1983. The Saab 340 became the world's best-selling commuter aircraft shortly after it launched on the market in 1984. By 1987, all of Fairchild's activity on the program had stopped. The US company had chosen to curtail its aircraft activities, making Saab solely responsible for the 340's production. The initial production models was designated as Model 340A, which, depending on the seating arrangement, could seat up to 36 passengers, while being powered by two General Electric CT 752A turboprop engines with 1,735 horsepower output. 
sub or social these aircrafts VIP and cargo versions to help broaden the product's market appeal. Then follow the Model 340B, and in most respects, this was similar to the A model, but instead switched to the General Electric City 79B engines. It was typically has the length of 19.73 meters, wingspan of 21.44 meters, and a height of 6.97 meters. The empty weight was 8.1 tons, and maximum takeoff weight of 13.1 tons. It can reach a top speed of 502 km per hour, a cruise speed of 467 km per hour, and a range of 1732 km. In the following decades, a large number of 340s remained in commercial service even after production was completed. By 2006, there was a resurgence in demand for turbo prop power airliners, partly due to rising oil prices. During this year, SAP announced the largest ever lease deal for the SAP 340, providing Australian operator regional express airliners with a total of 25 SAP 340s. By the end of 2010, SAP assessed the possibility of extending the 340 certified lifespan, which is typically limited to 60,000 hours under the Maintenance Review Board program. The company believes that the maintenance program could be extended to accommodate up to a limit of 75,000 hours. Over the next decade, the existing aircraft remain relatively active and competitive. SAP Model 340 served industry players, including Rational Express Airlines, Sky Bahamas Airlines, Silver Airways, and Logan Air. My video of SAP 340 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.